The approach to the third and fourth metacarpals is made through a dorsal, longitudinal skin incision between these two bones. The incision runs longitudinally on the dorsal surface between the third and fourth metacarpals. The subcutaneous tissue is divided with the scissors, avoiding the peritendinous gliding tissue. At the same time, the nerves and veins that run longitudinally are also protected. Here the extensor digitorum tendon of the middle finger is shown. And here the extensor tendon of the ring finger, consisting of several slips. The junctura tendini are freed and divided with the scissors. They will be repaired at the end of the operation. While protecting the peritendinous gliding tissue and without undermining the extensor tendons, the periosteum of the third metacarpal is split longitudinally and reflected, both radially and ulnarly. The origin of the interosseous muscles in the region of the fracture can now be carefully separated from the bone. The shaft of the third metacarpal is now exposed. The fourth metacarpal is exposed in the same way. If possible, the periosteum should be repaired over the implant. The two stumps of the junctura tendini are also repaired. 